Steamboat Geyser, covering car in million-year-old mud. Yellowstone visitors were thrilled to witness the rare eruption of Steamboat, the world's tallest geyser. But many were not thrilled to see the million-year-old mud that covered their cars. Witnessing the eruption of Steamboat Geyser in Yellowstone National Park is a once-in-a-lifetime event, but it can also be a nightmare for anyone who parks near the world's tallest active geyser. Cindy Lawson Didmer found that out while visiting Yellowstone last week. After Steamboat Geyser erupted at 3.02 p.m. Monday, she returned to her car parked in the Norris Geyser Basin parking lot to find it soaked in geyser water that left a residue that required more than a wet towel to clean up. Drove to West Yellowstone and tried to wash it, with, Dawn dish soap, she wrote in the Yellowstone National Park Facebook group. Cleaned it up nicely, but there's still a layer of it. We're, taking it to a detailer. But we were glad to see the eruption. A similar experience was shared on TripAdvisor in 2022. An online contributor was visiting Norris Basin shortly after the steamboat eruption while clouds of steam continued to pour from the geyser vent. Our car and all the cars in the parking lot got soaked from the geyser water, they wrote in their review. The car got geyser water, not a good thing. The geyser water left a film on the rental car that couldn't be cleaned off. Vinegar made the windows a little better, and drivable, but it took over two hours to clean at an auto repair shop in Bozeman. It's not unusual for anyone who's been around a steamboat geyser eruption to find residue covering everything in a wide swath around it. It's just another natural hazard in Yellowstone National Park. What comes out of steamboat is no different than what comes out of any other geyser, says Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. It's boiling water that contains a fair amount of dissolved silica. When that water lands on the surface and evaporates, it leaves silica behind. Dissolved silica is everywhere in Yellowstone, and it can be especially damaging when it coats the surfaces of man-made objects. Poland says park employees are well aware of the silica struggle. I've heard stories from park employees about how difficult it is to keep the windows at the old Faithful Visitor Center clean, and that's just because of the light jets flying around, not the eruptions of any particular geyser, he said. Steamboat Geyser can shoot water up to 400 feet into the air when it erupts, making it the tallest active geyser in the world and potentially dangerous to anyone nearby. Because Steamboat's plume is so tall, it can travel quite far, Poland said. The silica-rich water has killed most of the trees between the geyser and the parking lot in recent years, and the parking lot is about 800 feet from the geyser. That gives you an idea of the area that's affected. The National Park Service has posted signs around the Norris parking lot warning drivers that their vehicles could be covered in dissolved silica after a steamboat eruption. Poland knows many Yellowstone visitors take precautions whenever they visit. Some experienced geyser watchers will put a cover on their cars when they park there and when Steamboat is about to erupt, he said. Unlike Old Faithful, Steamboat Geyser has never had a regular eruption schedule. The July 15 eruption came 46 days after its last eruption on May 30, which was 56 days after its previous eruption on April 3. Steamboat's eruptions can range anywhere from 5 days to 50 years. While it has been relatively active for the past 6 years, Poland said the current frequency of eruptions suggests the geyser is slowing down. This eruption is part of a marked decline at Steamboat, he said. This is only the fourth eruption in 2024. The years 2018 to 2021 all had more than 20 eruptions per year, but the number has decreased in the years since. 11 in 2022 and 9 in 2023.
Before 2018, the average period between eruptions at Steamboat was two years. Then, the geyser erupted 32 times in 2018 and 48 more times in 2019 and 2020. Poland said Steamboat has experienced frequent periods of eruption, such as the one between 2018 and now. Despite intensive research and observation of Yellowstone National Park and its geysers,